we're all unique. The, sometimes people who subscribe to democracy are very proud of the uh, Declaration of Independence in America, and, and especially Americans, but even other people, they'll say, there it says, you know, all, Thomas Jefferson, all men are created equal. Right? Then first question, and women? Women didn't have equal rights when he wrote that. <laughs> and what to speak of people of color? They weren't considered, you know, they're men, they weren't as enlightened as they appeared to be, the so-called <coughs> enlightenment thinkers. <clears throat> to rephrase that, we can say, all beings are eternally unique. Because that didn't include our friends, the animals, and so many others. So rather, we can restate that as all beings <coughs> are eternally unique. Right. Uh, so we have so much variegatedness in the human position and the animal position and all of the species. And as I stated at the beginning, the body is the biological expression of the soul's delusion. So no two are identical, actually, and in that sense, not equal. They're all unique. There are similarities, but all unique. So we look the way we do. You could say this, if you're following the theme of what we're discussing this evening, is that the way we look at present is a perverted reflection of our spiritual features. <laughs> so we have unique spiritual forms and features called swarup, but the swarup at present is covered by layers of ego, and Gurmars' word, acquired prejudice, acquired tendencies. It's being pervertedly expressed into this plane. Our loving propensity towards Krishna is being expressed as an exploiting tendency toward matter and the mundane. And we've taken on these varieties of forms that are all unique, but they're perverted reflections of the original. That's true, covered by layers of ego, acquired prejudice, acquired tendency, mind, mental body, or intellectual body, mental body, physical body. But still, it's different, unique, but it's not the pure expression when we're enriched with dedicating tendency, when we withdraw from the, the plane of exploitation and are reconfigured as dedicating units, right? servitors, then gradually the, the, um, this body, which is constructed upon exploiting tendencies, starts to dissolve. And the swarup, which is the uh, spiritual form expression of dedicating tendency starts to manifest. <clears throat>